Hey guys, it's Base Kato, and by the time of this video, I went to Ulta yesterday and I was so excited because I actually, um, well, actually, I went to Ulta and Sephora because so I wanted to try out some new beauty products and I actually got a few things. So I want to um, test out these new products that I got on camera, give you guys my first impression of everything. But if you want to see the products that I got, then please keep watching. Also, make sure to like and subscribe. And let's go ahead and get into it. So off camera, I went on ahead and washed my face. And I did put on a little bit of hyaluronic acid on my face, but nothing, um, like no oil or anything. Because the first product that I want to try is from Truly Beauty. And it's their Mary Jane CBD Glow Serum. <sighs> Y'all. I've been trying to get my hands on the Truly Beauty just any of their products in general for a long time. The Mary Jane CBD Glow Serum, it includes 100 milligrams of CBD, vitamin A, cannabis sativa, caffeine, and glycolic acid boost. Pretty much the Truly Beauty, like their whole beauty line is known for being vegan and like clean and it's, um, animal cruelty free. So I picked out this serum just because it did state that it was like a glow serum and I like looking glowy. And also, the color is like a pink. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, it's like thick. I thought it was gonna be like runny. I don't know why I thought it was gonna be runny, but it's like thick. It has like a candy like smell. I don't know what type of smell that is. Which I know smells aren't really good for your skin like fragrances and stuff so just be weird do i look glowy now so first impression of the cbd glow serum i would give it like at least a 9 out of 10. um it does give me a glow and i do like the fact that it gives me a glow and my face doesn't feel oily like there's no real residue on my face so that's what i actually do like about this serum is it moisturizing though? Mm, I don't know. Like, I can't really tell. I feel like I would still have to put on a facial moisturizer first and then put this glow serum on top. That's how I feel about this product. So next is eyebrows and eyebrows. We're keeping it the same. I don't have anything new with the eyebrows. We're just gonna start off with my Edge Booster Styling Gel to set the hair in place. Next, I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Ebony to fill in my brows. Okay, after filling in my eyebrows, we're definitely gonna carve them out. And today I'm using a different concealer, so I'm using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer in the shade Golden Honey. I've used this concealer before in the past, and I liked it, <laughs> but I'm not sure if I've used this particular shade. Then I'm setting the concealer using my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I will say I like this concealer. Like I like how it's not as light as my Hourglass concealer, but it is a little bit on the yellow side in my opinion. Well, it does say golden honey, so I should have known, but you can cancel that. Boom. Mm -hmm. So no flex, but I really haven't been in the mood to do like a full blown eyeshadow look in a while. Lately, I don't know, I've just been more so liking the natural look better than eyeshadow for right now. So we're just gonna keep it that way. So uh, we're just gonna skip to eyeliner. And today, of course, I'm using my NYX Epic Wear Eyeliner.
So eyeliner is now on. You guys already know when I put on my eyeliner, that's when I'm starting to feel myself. I don't know why, like the eyeliner just like really shapes like my eyes, my face, everything. It's almost like it's my identity. Next is gonna be eyelashes. And today, I found these eyelashes like in my drawer. So it's um from Attitude. I think that's the brand attitude it's their um, mink eyelashes in the style mcq006 or moonstone i'm not gonna lie these lashes look kind of dramatic and lately i have not been into dramatic eyelashes but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and apply the lashes off camera and then we can go ahead and get to the face okay so lashes are on these lashes i mean they're whatever they're like not my favorite i feel like the ardell um lashes look better than these but it's whatever I guess so now on to the face so first I'm gonna be starting off with my milk hydro grip primer then for my t-zone area I'm just going to put a little bit of the benefit pore professional primer there just so we have a smooth face all right so next is foundation and you guys i'm so excited because i've been meaning to try this foundation for literally years but it's the giorgio armani luminous silk foundation i've been wanting to try this for so long i feel like this is like a um youtube og type of foundation because it's been around for years and i don't know i just wanted to buy it do a little first impression So I got the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the shade 11. It's supposed to give you that perfect glow. That's what it says on the box. Oops. So that was one full pump. It's a little bit runny, so that's good. So foundation is on. I did two pumps. If I had to compare this to the NARS Sheer Glow foundation, I feel like the Sheer Glow has a little bit more coverage than the Giorgio Armani. But I really, really like the finish of the Giorgio Armani. Honestly, what does it say? It says perfect glow, flawless foundation. I believe that. It does like give you a flawless base. But keep in mind though, I don't have that many blemishes on my face to begin with. If you have more, a lot of blemishes that you're trying to cover, then this foundation, I feel like you would prefer the NARS Sheer Glow over this one just because the NARS has a little bit more coverage. So now we're gonna go to contouring. Contouring has not changed. I'm just using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in beautiful bronze. Yeah, beautiful bronze. And then for concealer, again, I'm trying the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer in Golden Honey. So real quick, I will say for this highlight shade, Golden Honey, I feel like it's a little bit too dark for a highlight. I think I'm still going to mix just a little bit of my Hourglass Concealer in the shade Flax just to... And then after blending everything out, I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. What is this? This is in the shade Honey. I actually wanna try another one of her Translucent Powders, um, but I also wanna try the um, Huda Beauty Translucent Powder. So I heard the Huda Beauty one is really good too. So. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm taking my go-to MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark.
Okay, so now that we set the foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and powder contour using my Juvia's Place um, bronze palette. And I'm just gonna be taking, again, the lightest shade in the duo to contour. And here, I'm going to add a little bit of powder down my nose real quick just to kind of clean up the nose contour. So next, after bronzing the skin, we're going to go ahead and apply blush. And you guys already know I'm using my NARS Orgasm X blush. I really like this blush, so I don't have a new one just yet. So the next thing that I bought from Sephora is a setting spray and y'all, I'm not even gonna lie, but I keep getting sucked into Milk Makeup and like their marketing strategy or scheme. I'm using the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. Dang, that was like a tongue twister or maybe that was just me. But I tried this in the store and I'm not gonna lie, like I sprayed it on my hand and then like a few seconds later, like my hand had some type of, you know, grip to it. So I was like, hmm. Let me try this setting spray. So I got the travel size. It is so cute looking, like, oh my God. And I love like the color of the actual setting spray mist. I mean, I know it's probably just food coloring, but it's so cute. I don't know. And then to finish off the face, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter in the shade Rivera. That's another thing. I need to get another highlighter. Like, okay, I looked at some highlighters. I'm not gonna lie. I looked at some yesterday and I was like, do I wanna buy a highlighter? But I'm thinking like, what's the whole point of buying another highlighter that's literally the same shade, but maybe just a little bit different like consistency. So I was like, you know what? Let me just chill. So now that we're done with the face, we can go ahead and finish off with the lips. And today I'm just gonna keep it simple, so no lip liner, but I'm just gonna be using my two um, Mix Butter Glosses. Um, one in the shade Praline, that's gonna be the base. And then Madeline, I'm gonna put just a little bit um, on the highest points, or the points where I want more light to touch my lips. Okay, lips are now done. Oh, my makeup looks good. So now I'm just gonna spray my face again with the Milk setting spray one last time. Okay guys, so this is the final look and I will say I'm loving the way my makeup turned out, especially that new foundation because I was so worried that I didn't get like the correct shade, but I did and it looks really nice. So, I like all the products that I got today. Um, I don't have one product that I hate just yet at least. You know, maybe I'll do an update product on like um, some of the skincare stuff and this foundation if I actually do end up not liking it. You know I'm gonna give you guys an update, so. But yeah, this is the final look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video. Also make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one, bye.